most people use their Nvidia Shield on default mode. Now that means wasted speed, wasted power and apps that never reach their full potential. Today I'll show you how to break out of default mode and unlock your Shield's true power. First up, speed. Now by default, your shield animations are set to one times speed, and that makes menus feel sluggish. Now almost like they're stuck in slow motion, but here's how to fix it. Grab your remote, go to settings, device preferences, about. Now scroll down to build and click it seven times. Congratulations, you've just unlocked developer options. Now back out, then go into developer options and scroll all the way down until you find window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. Drop all three from one times down to 0.5 times. Now you won't lose any picture quality, but suddenly your menus will feel like they just downed a double espresso. And while you're in developer options, scroll down to apps, background process limit, Default mode lets a bunch of apps hog memory in the background. So set it to at most two processes if you want the fastest feel, or at most three processes if you like to multitask. It's like clearing out the freeloaders so the apps you actually care about get VIP treatment. Now let's talk about picture and sound. Go back to device preferences, then choose display and sound. Make sure your resolution is set to the maximum your TV supports. Default mode doesn't always push it to the limit. If your TV can handle 4K at 60 Hertz, lock it in. Next, check out AI upscaling. Default mode usually leaves it on low or even off. Crank it up and suddenly your old HD content looks dangerously close to native 4K. And don't forget audio. By default, your shield compresses the sound before sending it to your system. But if you enable audio pass-through under advanced sound settings, formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X get sent uncompressed straight to your receiver or soundbar. That means instead of good enough audio, you get a cinema quality sound at home. All right, gamers and streamers, this one's for you. Go to settings, device preferences, and choose system. Now switch your processor mode to max performance. By default, it runs in balanced mode, which saves energy but holds you back. Max performance gives you every drop of power. And while you're here, set fan mode to cool. It keeps your temperatures lower and helps prevent throttling during long gaming sessions. For streaming, your connection is everything. Ethernet will always be Wi-Fi, but even then your shield defaults to a slower DNS. Think of DNS as the internet's phone book. By switching to a faster one, you cut down lookup times and reduce buffering. Go to settings, network, select your current connection, then change your IP settings to static.
Leave your IP and gateway the same Set your prefix length to 24 and in the DNS fields use 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 for Cloudflare or 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4 for Google. It only takes a minute but it can make streams and even online gaming feel noticeably smoother. And while we're talking about your connection, one thing I never skip is using a VPN. I personally use NordVPN on my Shield. It encrypts your connection so your data stays private. And it also unlocks content that's normally blocked in your region. You can grab it directly from the Google Play Store on your Shield and it runs super smooth. I've got a special deal for my viewers, just click the link in the description to save. Now here's a maintenance tip that people often get wrong. Apps on the Shield store cache, temporary files meant to help them load faster. And yes, cache can be useful. But over time, these files grow too large slow things down or even cause glitches after an update. So if an app starts acting up or if your storage is getting low, clear the cache. Go to settings, apps, see all apps, choose the app you're having an issue with and select clear cache. Now don't worry, you're not deleting the app or your data like logins and usernames. The cache will rebuild itself automatically, only cleaner and faster. Think of it like tossing out the junk mail so the important stuff can get through. And if you ever get stuck applying these tweaks or just want direct support, I've opened up channel memberships. Now memberships get access to a private chat group where I answer questions personally, share extra tips I don't post publicly and help you fine tune your setup. You can hit the join button below if that sounds useful. Default mode is fine if you don't know any better, but now you do. These tweaks unlock the shield's real power. Faster menus, sharper picture, cinema quality sound and smoother streams. Which one are you going to try first, speed, display or audio? Drop a comment below, I do read every single one. And if you found this video helpful, hit that thumbs up, subscribe and join the community. Don't let your shield sit stuck on default mode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.